Hey, how we doing, everybody? Welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room on a Whiskey Wednesday night. It is also July 4th Eve. How's everybody doing? Oh, I, I need to turn off my own uh, live stream here. Hold on, guys. All right, now I'm in. Um, yeah, I just want to say hi to everybody uh, tonight. We have a really cool show uh, lined up for you. Uh, one of the newest channels on YouTube uh, is joining me tonight. Uh, really, really cool guys. Uh, I know it's, I'm not sure if any of you in the chat have checked these guys out yet, but I want to say hi to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Say hi, guys. What's up, hey, guys? What's going on, everybody? Glad, going to be, on. glad to be here, for sure. All right, so um, so tonight I am I've invited these guys on because uh, a particular review that they did really caught my eye. Plus, you know they're really they're doing some really great honest reviews. Um, we're going to be tasting a bourbon tonight called Horse Soldier, which has an amazing story behind it, and we're going to get into that. Um, but first, uh, before we get into the bourbon and before we get to say hi to everybody, I want you uh, all three. Want you introduce yourselves and let everyone uh, know a little bit about you. Hey, I'm Brent, and this is Jake and Ryan, and we review whiskey. Um, yeah, that's what that's what we yeah. do. Uh, we review whiskey. We try to give an honest review on our channel, and uh, uh, what we're trying to do is just give everyone an honest review and come at you guys. It kind of a little, it's a little different, more laid back on our channel. It, it, we want the feeling of. Everyone is hanging out with the guys drinking whiskey. You know, um, we hit price points. We review scotches, Irish whiskeys. Um, I also um, like to give some information about the distilleries we're doing as, as much as we can to fill people in uh, about that info that a lot of people probably don't know. Right. You know, give a little bit a bit of a historical background as well. Yeah. You know about what you're drinking or thinking about drinking. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I really I really like your reviews, guys. So thanks for coming on. So we. So we were able to uh, swap some samples. I sent them a few things. They sent me the horse, uh, the horse soldier, which we're going to be uh, sipping tonight. But before we get into it, uh, I want to say hi, say hi to everybody in the chat here that came in. Peter White's in the house. Uh, John Watson's here. Karen B. Ford, uh, the Bourbon Buddies. Uh, Chad Wallace is in the house. We have, let's see, Nick uh, Zangatsis. Thanks for coming in, man. He said finally get to join in one of these since he is closed tomorrow for the fourth. Uh, Charles Ashworth is in the house. Andrew Sparrow, Moose seventy six. Uh, we have DJ Beacon, Rebecca Page. She said, "Okay, hold on, let me get my drink, and you can start." <laughs> Hope you got it. Skippy Van Pob is in the house uh, from Alberta, Canada. Welcome, buddy. Hi, Whiskey She Wines is here. How you doing? Thanks for coming in, Bobby and Sam. Uh, appreciate you coming in here. We have DJ Beacon, uh, Loch Ness is here. How you doing, Loch Ness? John, cap and make it happens in the house. Uh, Sean Moore, hello. How you doing? That's the bourbon finder. How you doing, Sean? Thanks for coming in. Uh, Yana Wishkin is here. Yo, <laughs> Tim Blevins, uh, Mr. Bill, and more people coming in. And James comes in with the first super chat of $1.99. Thank you so much, James. You're going to get the first <laughs> symbol crash of the night. Thanks again, James, for uh, coming in. All right. Hey, uh, Tolf Thomas has uh, just joined as well. We have um, we have about thirty nine in the chat right now. More people coming in and jumping in. This is awesome, guys. So, um, so, so, fellas, why don't you introduce yourselves one by one? Uh, I'm Jake. Brent. I'm Ryan. All right, I've got Jake, Brent, and Ryan. Um, now, you guys, when did you guys start your channel? Like, you didn't, you guys didn't start up not too long ago, right? It's it's been, been about three months, man. Yeah. Almost Around three minutes. months. Yeah. Okay. It, it, we, we knew whiskey, but we didn't really know, like, editing yeah. or anything else. We just want to share whiskey with people. That was That's our big thing, man. We want we, – and, and the whiskey community has been amazing to us. They, yeah. really, they really have, man. And we've kind of met some of our people, and it's been – all the channels have been just totally awesome. Jason, the Mass and Drum, has been totally amazing with us. I whiskey shoot wines. Um, the Bourbon Junkies, I like to get to know them better, but they have been. We've been talking with them a little bit. Uh, my Bourbon Journey, Scott, totally amazing, man. Chris from Bourbon Insane. Everybody's been real supportive, man. And I think the thing that's just brought us all together is just the whiskey, man, and, and, and the stories we tell and, and sharing this great spirit, man. And that's, 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 what, that's what we started. Uh, 
we just want to share whiskey with people. Uh, yeah, it's it's amazing how sharing whiskey with your friends, your family at your own house, and how all of a sudden you start uh you start a YouTube channel, and that same type of community, whether it be virtually or whether it be right in front of you, it's kind of the same thing. There's a lot of love, a lot of enjoyment there, and uh, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, oh, yeah. pretty damn cool, man. Yeah. So um, all right. So this is what we're gonna do. Um. So you guys sent me three samples here. So I have, well, we'll get into the, to the cloud, to the same cloud a little bit later, but I want to focus on the horse soldier uh, bourbon first. So yeah, right. we sent, uh, you guys sent me the horse soldier small batch and the horse soldier bow strength. Yeah. Um, so this, these, this bourbon has a really cool story to it. So since you guys reviewed this already, why don't you kind of uh, tell a little bit about, uh, not only a little bit of the story behind it, but who actually is uh, is making this stuff. So I think it's a great story. So um, actually, you know what? Before we even do that, let's freaking drink something. So <laughs> all right, man. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. So you guys got something poured? Yeah. 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 Let's pour some more soldier to get it right here. All right. Yeah. Let's let's pour a little something out. I am pouring. Um, I whipped out my bottle of ancient ancient age ten star. Oh. Uh, which I can't even find anymore, but I love this stuff. For a budget whiskey, it's delicious. Ancient, ancient age. Ten star. Ten star. Yep. Yeah, uh, we go. have, let's see, we have Dramans in the house, too. Christine Deems, how you doing? Thanks for coming in. Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. If any of you guys haven't seen Dusty Dan yet, he is, he. it happened. He's got his own channel now. He put out his first video before Rose's Small Batch Select. Go check out Dusty Dan and his uh, new channel, guys. Um, all right. All right, guys. So uh, let's raise the glass here. Let's uh, raise the glass to happy July 4th weekend. Uh, happy Independence Day, fellas. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers and to all you out there, I'm going to take a sip. Hey, Brian Walsh is in the house. Uh, Joseph Brazo said he can't stay long. Need to drop and say hi. Thanks so much for coming in, Joseph. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, it's good. Yeah. All right. So, all right, let's get into the story about this horse soldier. Cause I think it's an amazing story. So guys, take it away. All right. Well, this horse soldier, um, uh, it was started by six former green berets that, uh, went into Afghanistan right after nine 11. When they went in, they went in, they ended up riding on horseback. They didn't know exactly what was going on. They were basically sent in. And uh, from what I heard, they were sent in with a bag of cash and told to figure it out. <laughs> and these guys are some badasses. Like, things they, they did over there, you know, what makes you feel like you haven't really accomplished right. anything in life. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so they went over there, and I think it took them uh, – they, they ended up rounding up 12 horses. Um, and, and well, they only had six. Or, right. yeah, they, didn't, they didn't have enough horses when they first got over there. They ended up finally getting twelve horses. They, they basically rode on horseback with you know M fours and like that's the only way. To look they rode the into war out. in a foreign country on horses, and some of them didn't uh, even know how to ride horses. Yeah, right. like, exactly. so you had uh, and but this product horse soldier is from the American Freedom Distillery, which was started by Scott Neal, Rob Shatner, John Coco, Mark Noosh, Bob Pennington, and Tyler Gardner. And what they did, they uh, when they got back from Afghanistan, they kind of toured a bunch of different distilleries across the nation, you know, and they kind of learned how to make bourbon and different things, and they decided, why not? Let's, yeah, right. let's make you some know. whiskey. Yeah. 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 And, and they've done a really good job. What they did, uh, the whiskey here is from Columbus, Ohio, and they selected two different mash bills, a weeded mash bill and a high rye mash bill. Both now I happen, I happen to live in Columbus, Ohio, and uh, one of the one of the better distilleries here is called Middle West Spirits, and that's where they got their uh, that's where they got their bourbon from after they selected it. Correct? Yes, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah they went is. up to Middle West. Uh, I'm assuming they uh, tasted some different samples they got. They decided on their weeded Nashville and their high rye Nashville, uh, but they're both excellent whiskeys. They did a great job uh, picking it, which I'm not surprised with based right. off type of people these guys are right? yeah like they, they, they yeah they did not and they they uh, actually 
went all over the United States trying to find the right place, and that's where they ended up landing at. And actually, the bottles, the mold for the bottles is made out of scrap steel from 9 11. You know, yeah, so that, that's kind of the coolest part. So if you guys look up a close up of this bottle, there's a there's a metal plate on the front uh, with the with the horseman and the Green Beret kind of riding it. And it's etched and made from from actual metal from the World Trade Center. Correct. Yes. Uh, well, uh, the, the engraving here on the front is an engraving of the American Response Monument, which was uh, put up in front of 9-11 in honor of the horse soldiers. The, the glass itself, the mold that they uh, make the glass bottles from, every mold is uh, made from scrap steel from uh, the World Trade Centers. So every glass bottle has been blown into that mold to make the bottle. Right. And, and from what I understand, all the uh, some of the proceeds from the sales go to preserve that monument at World Trade Center. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just just an awesome story. Just a, such a cool such. I mean, you know, to have those guys, you know, do what they did, which, you know, we, I mean, you know, people like us who don't even think about what they did and what they went through. Um and I think to kind of have this whiskey and talk about it and share it on Independence Day Eve, it's it's, it's quite fitting tonight. So I want to thank you. I want to thank you for sharing this with us. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. um, I just want to say hi to a couple of others. The Bourbon Road came in. How you doing? Uh, how you going? Uh, uh, let me see. Who's that? Oh, Curry Bowling's in the house. Um, whiskey Ace is here. Richie Z. Always like to see you, buddy. Um, uh, and let's see here. Bourbon Road, Jim Shannon, Jimmy T's in the house. Okay. So, so what do you say, boys? Let's get into this. Let's start. You want to start with the small batch? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So this is so this is the horse soldier small batch. This is 95 proof, correct? Uh, yes, yes, yes. All right. So this is a 95 proof bourbon, guys. Um weed in Mashville. This so this is a weeder. Yes, yes. it's the same Mashville as the barrel strength. Uh, I did not know that when I bought it. I was looking to buy the high ride, but that one is uh, a different bottle. Yeah, so what I is. what I do love, if you guys go to their website, they are very transparent in what they put in their whiskey, which is always great. So this is seventy. This is seventy percent corn, twenty percent wheat, and ten percent barley. Um, yes. uh, yeah, go for it, man. Oh, he's he. We're waiting for Jake to pour some. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. he pours heavy. He was trying not I, to I, just I'm dip trying. too deep yeah. in the bottle this early in the night. I've had bottles <laughs> get stuck in the glass because I'm just terrible with pouring. <laughs> yeah, so this has a good amount of weed in it, and um, I'm you know it's I kind of like that. So let's uh, let's get to the nose and see what we get here. It definitely shows up on the nose. Yeah, yeah, this is extremely like honey and wheat forward, definitely. It's honey. Um, it's got vanilla in, in, in some baking spices. Right. I mean, now you even almost there's a there's like a there's there is a dark fruit aspect to this. I'm getting a little bit like if you get a little bit deeper in there, it's like a it's, it's like a date or a raisin aspect to it. Yeah, yes, I, I, I see, see that. And, and we've had the uh, the uh, barrel strength, which is I think proved perfectly for this whiskey and when we get into that we'll try but yes there is some deep dark fruits in this whiskey there's a little bit of uh i'm getting a little smokiness to this too which is kind of nice yes yeah, so i could see that like a little bit of the char from the yeah. barrel there's definitely some barrel char in there um definitely caramels vanillas all that good stuff you love this is uh, this is one of the nicer noses i've had on a new bourbon i think if you watch my live stream last week i tried some questionable <laughs> bottles and then this on the yeah. nose is this on the nose is way better right now <laughs> yes it's, yes it's much better much better very nice and in and, and it's uh you're not having to search real hard for the the nose profile or the aromas on the nose it's uh yeah. It's definitely there that does, um yeah. it's kind of jumping out of the glass even at 95 proof um uh, very nice nose on this whiskey. For sure. Yeah, I want to. I want to say hi to David Lawn. Uh, David Lawn. Um, uh, Brandon Weiss. Christina Rice. Whiskey Crusaders. How you doing, Matt? Thanks for coming in. Uh, Chad Holly's in the house. Um, yeah. So, 
man, this is this is a this is a really nice nose. I like the weeded aspect of it. It doesn't hide. Um, it, it's not like one of those almost weeded. I mean, this is a weeder. You can really smell on the nose, and it's really super sweet. There's some yeah. there's a honey cereal type aspect to it. It's really nice on the nose. There, there is almost like an oat on 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 the whiskey. What I like what I enjoy about the what I enjoy about the nose is like you can you smell it. You can tell there's a lot going on, but it's not confusing to you, right? You know, it's it's not. Uh, it's pretty well balanced. It's pretty well balanced. Yeah, balanced. yeah it, it's very straightforward. But all all the flavors you want in in a good weeder are on the nose here. So I you know I can't help but. You know, be thankful for that. Jeffrey Wack, how you doing, buddy? The whiskey dude. Yo, 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 how you doing, buddy? Yo, 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 yo whiskey dude. <laughs> and Jansen, Jansen Sparks is in the house. Um, so let's see. This says is the proof, 95 proof. Um, so they, they did it 595, which is the special forces team number of the first Green Beret into Afghanistan that rode on horses. So there's also a story behind the proof point to this. Which I think is just awesome. Right. That is cool. cool. That is cool. cool. There's a lot of thought in this whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, this, of, yeah, this was not. This was not just buy stuff and throw it in a bottle and let people buy it. There's some serious thought behind this. So yeah, yeah. care into this. It's yeah. it's it's very well balanced whiskey. Yeah. And we really enjoy it. And when we first tried it, um, it kind of blew our minds. You know, there's when there's hype behind something. You're almost ready to get let down. Right. Yeah, I yeah. thought the coolest thing about this whiskey was gonna be the backstory, and then it turns out the whiskey's pretty badass too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So maybe maybe you guys could help out with it. We got a question. What's the uh, what's the MSRP on the small batch and the barrel proof? The small batch, uh, I paid about sixty five for that, and the barrel proof was around eighty. Eighty yeah. plus tax, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then and then the high rye mash bill, I don't remember what that was called, something. but that that one's about forty five dollars. Right, and if your state allows you to ship whiskey, I think you can go to their website, the American Freedom Facility dot com, and order some if your state allows whiskey to be shipped. Right, and I, uh, so is, Skippy, so Skippy Van Pop said he just subscribed to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Um, yeah, if you guys, if you guys are watching this, you you know, the, yeah. Um, uh, Ryan, Brent, Jake, all really cool guys. Give them a follow. Give them a give them a subscribe, and you know, check out their stuff uh, as we go through here. Hope you guys do it. I really appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys, it is time to sip this stuff. Let's sip. Oh man, I just got a really real. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's this is starting to smell like uh, lemon meringue pie on the nose right now. There is a a deep, rich lemon character jumping out of here. Yeah. No, you're you're right. Definitely. A lot of lemon. All right, I'm going in. I can't wait to taste this stuff. Cheers, boys, and let's uh, let's raise let's uh, raise our glass here to uh, the Green Berets that that made this, fought for yeah. our freedom, did all those badass things, so we could sit on YouTube and drink whiskey. And yeah. anyone, anyone else in the uh, anyone else in the chat or anyone else watching who has served, thank you so much and uh, happy Independence Day. Here we go, guys. Absolutely. Yep. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers everybody. Oh, wow! That taste that tasted darker than yes. than the nose made it seem like it was going to. I thought it was going to be light and fruity, and this thing came in with dark fruits and caramel. Wow! Yeah, dark. Yeah. It's very nice, man. Very, very nice whiskey. It, it's got like a, and the finish is about middle of the road. Um, it's got some good barrel notes on the finish in the. I mean, the finish is nice. Um, it does have some deep, dark, rich tones for a weeded bourbon. I mean, uh, when you get into weeded bourbons, you're thinking a little light, a little light, a little light and pretty. This is a uh, definitely not that. It's a little different on the on, on the palate than most of your most of your weeders. You know? Yeah. It, this is this is a deeper, darker weeder to me. It's it's got a lot of. Um, there's a lot of oak character going on in here, and it's, yeah. it's not in a bad way. Um, I do, yeah, I like this a lot, but the nose did not. The, the nose was very deceiving <laughs> to what I got in the palate. Yes, very much so. Um, so, Karen, so Karen B. Ford said uh, she watched your review of this bourbon, tracked it down online, and received the bottle yesterday. Going to open it and share it with my family tomorrow. Perfect for the fourth. So, awesome. 
Yeah, that is awesome. Cheers okay. to that, Aaron. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, huh, Jason? Yeah, I'm just trying to try to. There's a little bit of um, yeah, that barrel char that's in there, and that it's this is a strong wheat flavor. I haven't mm -hmm. gotten this much of a wheatiness in a in a bourbon, but there's some dark fruits behind it too. It's this is not a typical weeded profile, but it's very good. I like it a lot. It's it's got deep dark fruit notes, um, cherries. It's got this apple, like an apple finish, but then it finishes with a uh, like a uh, like a tobacco leather type note on the end, which is sometimes you you get with an older age bourbon. But the the oakiness in here is is really kind of showing itself. It's really nice on the palate. Yeah, and the age statement they, they did have an age statement on this whiskey. But I think they took it off. Uh, yeah, it used to be on the bottle. Uh, our bottles don't have the age statement on it. Uh, some of the bottles I've seen had an eight-year uh, age statement on it. Eight years, but, okay. Yeah, our bottles don't have that age statement. So I, it should taste older than eight years. I mean, it really does. It yeah, does, I think uh, I think the oak, the oak, and the finish on it would make you think it's older than eight years. This could this could fall between a twelve to thirteen year with that with that oaky finish. So it's really interesting. Very nice, very nice whiskey. Um, and yeah. we were we tried the barrel strength first and then went to this, and it, the barrel strength is is totally different whiskey. Um, it's everything enhanced, deeper, richer. Yeah, the right. mouthfeel is, is different. We're, we'll get into it here in a minute. It, they're both just astounding whiskeys. We yeah, I, I, you know, I like the mouthfeel on this. Um, it's got some good flavors. Um, the only criticism I would have of this is I'm getting all the flavor on the mid to back palate. I'm not getting a big punch in the front. It kind of passes you through like a yeah. French train, and then it goes right to the mid to the back palate. Um, but yeah, yeah. The, finish, the finish on is really good. It's it's got some dark fruit character to it. One of definitely more oaky than I thought it was going to be. I thought this was going to be like a fruity, like a juicy fruit type from that lemon I was getting on the nose, and it's delicious. Yeah. It it's, I agree totally with what you're saying right there. It does kind of seem to blast right through to the finish and then kind of hang around and linger. There's not really a front on this whiskey. Not much of one anyway. Like yeah, a, there's like there's a little bit on the on the first sip, but once you take a couple more sips, it just goes right to the finish, and that's where all that flavor is. Right, right. right. It's like a little burst, a little burst of sweetness, and then it's gone. Yeah, it, it's um, I want to, somebody had said, oh, Bourbon Sane's in the house, Chris. Uh, did Chris, did you hit a thousand subs yet? Because I know you're really close to a thousand, right? Is that, is that the, is that what he's on? I think he's almost at a thousand subs. So if nobody in the chat is uh, subscribed to Bourbon Sane yet, go with them, go over and uh, subscribe to him. So get him closer to that thousand. I'm not sure if he hit it yet. So, all right. He should be close. <laughs> Uh, all right, so let's go to now the barrel strength, which uh, I am really excited to try. It's yeah, yeah. it's a different it's whiskey. New, it's new glass. It's a different whiskey. So in comparing the color, um, oh, he's at about nine sixty. So he's almost there. Yes, D H Silv, go friggin' subscribe to him, man. What the hell. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a little bit darker of a whiskey. So this is the barrel proof on the right here. Well, my right, um, your right too. So, and then we have the, this is the small batch, a little bit lighter. So this one has a lot more viscosity to it. So the barrel strength, um, you said now the barrel strength is the same mash bill as the, uh, small batch. Uh, yes, yes, yes. So, yes. 70, 20, 10. All right. So this is also 70, 20, 10. This comes in, uh, this is barrel strength. So what's the proof on this one? This, this one's 114 proof. Now, I have noticed, I have seen other bottles of the barrel strength, and the proofs do seem to differ. Right. Yeah, our, uh, our bottle is 114. Yeah, I've seen like 111, 111 and yeah. uh, a couple others. Yeah, yeah I mean, I barrel, barrel's proof is going to vary, obviously, from uh, bottle to bottle. Oh, yeah. This, no, this nose is completely different. Completely different. It's it uh, seems sweet. 
a little bit sweeter. Um, it's completely jumping out of the glass at you. This is, yeah, it's sweeter. It's caramels. It's deep, rich brown sugars, honey. That that dark fruit characteristic isn't just kind of faded. This one kind of punches you in the face here. Yeah. Right. It, it's got it's even some bacon spices in there. See. Yeah, there's a there's a really beautiful cinnamon kick in here, which I really like. Oh yeah, it's very nice, man. Very nice. And the uh, the legs on it are just very very nice, man. It's it's got good viscosity. This is just cinnamon and apples to me. I can't get it out of my head. It's like apple cinnamon. It's now. Uh, I, I agree. Now that you said that, it, it it is like an, an apple cinnamon blend yeah it's like apple cinnamon and pie crust all together in a glass that's really good it's very nice very nice i think this is the perfect proof for this whiskey. It, 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 it i really do i think this brings out with this mash bill the perfect flavors character of the whiskey right. it, it yeah. seems more full oh. not nice rich Deep whiskey. I would I would be curious to try the other like the hundred eleven and just compare them to see what the difference is. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like that would be that'd be something kind of and maybe I'll go buy this bottle. <laughs> kind of neat. All right, so I'm gonna go in for a sip of this because it smells too damn good. So cheers, boys. Thanks again. Cheers. Oh wow! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes, so one that. So that I had no problem attacking the front of my palate as well as the back. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it's definitely rich, full, creamy. It has a great mouthfeel. Yeah, yeah. This, this, this is this came in a little bit hot. I was surprised, but right. Let me go for another sip here because that one was pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's it's good stuff for sure. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, second sip was amazing. Yeah, it's great, man. Yeah, a lot of, great. ton of sweetness. That apple cinnamon, man, is 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 showing through in the palate too. Hey, that just rhymed. <laughs> that was like, yeah. a, like a doc, it was like a Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so. Uh, it, it kind of it's it's lingering. It's got more spice than I would think for a weeder too. It's spicy. Yeah, yeah it does. It it's, it's like a peppery spice on the finish. Um, and some of the darker character uh, to the whiskey at this at this proof is really showing through. I, I get your apples, your cinnamon. Um, I'm even get a little bit of a raisin on there. Some cherries. Um, it's. It's not dull or boring by no means. I mean, if you really wanted to dig into this whiskey, you could. Yeah, it, it'd be just packed full of flavor. Yeah, yeah. it's very it's nice. Great. Um, Nothing like. Let's see here. Uh, Rebecca Pace says, speaking of cereals, mix cinnamon toast crunch with Nilla brand banana pudding cereal. Wow, is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds cool. Um, Dramon, uh, Kentucky. What state does the bottle say it's distilled? It's distilled in Columbus, Ohio. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, this is in Columbus, Ohio, Dram Man. Right. The, the distillery is in St. Petersburg, Florida. But yeah. the whiskey is coming from uh, Ohio. Yeah, correct. Um, Chad Holly comes in with a four ninety nine super chat. He says for Jason to buy some snakes and sparklers. Happy Independence Day. I also like those, I also like those little tanks that go like two inches and they just like fire crap. So uh, <laughs> this is for you, Chad. Thanks so much, buddy. Um, actually, Chad, uh, I don't know, Chad, if you're a scotch guy, I have this blend here on um, that, that we started last week. I and mean, there's only two, there's only two scotches in here so far, Ardbeg and, um, uh, and Octomore. So if you want, Chad, uh, let me know if you would like to add to this with, an, with another scotch. I don't have a huge scotch collection, but I really want to kind of build this blend up. So, uh, let me know if you have one in mind, buddy. Um, all right, I'm going for another sip on this because this stuff is really good. It oh, is. Yeah. It's very nice whiskey. Um, so um, so you guys, as we're sipping on this, 
Uh, kind of let everybody know. How did you guys meet? What what was kind of what was the decision? I always like to ask, what was the decision? Because you know, there there are a lot of whiskey tubers nowadays, and you know, everyone has their own style, everyone does such a great job. Uh, it's kind of intimidating at first, like, oh, do we really want to do this? Do we really want to step in and do it? So what was how did you guys meet? And then what was it what was it that triggered you to say, like, all right, let's do this shit, let's let's make a channel? Well, uh me and Ryan met through a mutual friend. Right, we've been friends for yeah, hell. We, yeah, we've been friends for like 10, ten plus years. years. Yeah. And so and we got we pretty much kinda of got into whiskey together. Right, yeah. And uh let's see, when you were living at the apartment, we were getting on we were drinking uh bourbon and cokes a lot. And yeah. then uh one day I decided I was holding a bottle of four roses and I was like, I need to be able to drink this straight. I'm twenty seven <laughs> years old. Yeah, <laughs> like I need to be able to drink this straight. And so I, you know, I kind of figured it out and, you know, forced myself to do it and started to appreciate it and then skip forward, I don't know, a year or so, uh, where I was working at the time, uh, Brent gets hired and, uh, we, you know, we kind of start talking about music and stuff and discover that we're both in whiskey. Right? Yeah. And, uh, kind of just went on from there and, yeah. uh. And we and we were like doing these huge, massive tastings and, and going through these different whiskeys, and yeah. we were talking about them. I and mean, we would do it for hours, and uh, <laughs> real literally hours. And uh, I, I called Jake one day. I said, "Man, we've got a lot of different whiskeys. Let's let's share this with." And that's that's why we were doing this man, to, to everybody. We just want to share whiskey with people. It's awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah. that's. We just want to share whiskey with people and uh, and get and the whiskey community has been awesome yeah, and, yeah. and get to meet people that enjoy the same shit we do. You know, I mean, it's and that's why we started. Um, but uh, what I like, I mean, what I like doing too is you know people put off whiskey like oh whiskey's so hard to drink like I'm like actually it's not yeah, right and, yeah, and, and you, you really get people, into it yeah you you start giving people a little taste of things and like oh I didn't know you could taste like this yeah and, yeah you know, and so. They start drinking other stuff and expanding, and the next thing you know, like they really like. It. Yeah, and uh, I which think is cool. We're living in the best time for the whiskey age. I mean, we really are. I think that uh, uh, prior to right now, a lot of people had a weird perspective of whiskey, and now it's kind of looked at as a connoisseur's thing, which it, it probably was the whole time. But I think right. people had a different idea of whiskey. And I think now the idea of whiskey is, okay, it's something that is enjoyed to sip on and, and meant to be shared with people versus kind of the weird rep that it may have had in prior years, you know? Yeah, I mean, that, that's, how I, that's how I got into it. It's all about the sharing, and that's what that's what I, you know, everybody knows I preach that. And, you know, that also trickles down from, you know, Scotch Test Dummies, Aquavite, a lot of the channels out there that like to share and – um yeah, it, it's all about that. So I think that's great that uh, that you guys are kind of met that way and shared the whiskey together and started the channel. Um, I'm going to add uh, Chad Holly said he wants some Lagavulin, the Ron Swanson special in the blend. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to pour a little Lagavulin 9 in here. Um, I'm not measuring. I'm just pouring. So we'll just, we'll, see, we'll see what this turns into. And then I want to thank uh, Cap and Make It Happen, who came in with a $5 super chat. He said, I'll get in on that scotch action. Blend in some blend it, blend in some compass box goodness. Um, what compass? Oh, I have uh, I have spice tree, so I'll add in some spice tree, which is one of my favorite uh, compass box scotches right here, and it's getting it's getting very low. Uh, let's see here. I'll pour that baby in there. I'll pour a good amount in there. I'm actually doing my own compass box whiskey in this uh, this bottle here. <laughs> doing a blend. Um, <laughs> Dustin, compass box. Says, I'll say, I'll <laughs> double this very box. <laughs> uh, Dustin says, Jason, add Glen Scotia 15 to the bottle. If you don't have it, go buy it. Okay, I don't have it, but I will go buy it just for you, Dustin. But I'm going to give you this, buddy. <laughs> Thanks so much. Awesome, man. Um, <laughs> All right, Whiskey Wine says, interesting. Um, okay, cool. 
So we got that one. All right. So I can't get enough of this horse soldier. This is delicious. It's awesome. yeah. it, it is. It's, a, it's great whiskey. We were really um, blown away by it. Really, for a, a, a weeded bourbon, it's outstanding. It yeah. really it gets, is. Uh, it's it's getting better each sip. The first the first sip was a little hot. The second sip, you got some more of that apple cinnamon. You got the pepperiness, but now it's starting to really level off and now i could taste a lot of different flavors in it um this is really nice yeah it's it, it's not beating you up i mean are you getting some of the higher proof whiskeys um like your stag or something like that stag will beat your ass sometimes i mean yeah. it really will stag will beat you up um this is pretty nice you know um we were, we like it a lot and the story behind it even makes it cooler you know you know these guys uh you know what they did for the country. What they did for us, is, so we get the freedom we do have, and then yeah. come back and making whiskey. How much more cooler can you get than that? Right. You know? Yeah. So um, I want to uh, call out. Let's see. Um, uh, Bourbon Saint said, "Why does that four roses look a little light? Because it's Scotch, Chris." <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> the whiskey dude uh jason is that your infinity bottle next to you yes so this is the blend that we made last week uh i have named this blend the paradiddle uh which is actually a drumming term so if you guys are if you guys know drummers the paradiddle is actually um it's a rudiment that you do when you're practicing um it's called the paradiddle so basically that's what i named this blend so later on, uh, as we get a little bit closer to the end of this stream, we're going to give away some samples. Uh, the guys from the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews have been kind enough to give away some samples of Horse Soldier, but I'm going to give away um, uh, maybe a sample of this uh, Infinity Blend for you guys to, to try. So, well, not Infinity Blend, just a regular blend. It's not an Infinity one yet, but it might become that as we go along. Um, okay. What else? Let's hey. see. Uh, D.H. Silv says, oh, he adds a tenth of an ounce of Ardbeg to a bourbon. It's nice. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going to, you know, it doesn't really matter. I mean, people are going to have their varying opinions about, you know, what blends, what whiskeys do to what and blends. But we're just going to see how this comes out. It could be terrible. It could be great. It could be, eh, we'll see. <laughs> but I did, I did send you guys a sample of this blend. So we're going to crack that open a little bit later the, of the power deal. So. Um, now, uh, now we're going to get into another bourbon that you guys reviewed called St. Cloud. Yes. And this is, this is probably one of the more rare bourbons that you're going to find. Uh, if you find it, there's only, um, 3000 bottles for batch one. So you guys reviewed this one a little bit. So why don't you get into the bottle that wants to kind of show the bottle, uh, that is St. Cloud. Well, this is, uh, this right here is the St. Cloud, um, uh, Pretty cool bottle. Um, it's made by Ray Walker, who was the master store behind this. He was actually a winemaker. He left California, went to France, made some wine, and I think maybe he, is, he, he kind of failed the wine thing, moved back to the United States. I've heard a bunch of different things on. This dude's past and past business failures, but <clears throat> with all that pushed to the side, this whiskey is phenomenal. Um, nothing short of amazing. It's 120 proof cast strength, no water added. There's sediment in the whiskey straight out of the barrel. It is, and it's it's aged in new French oak instead of uh, new American oak, which is typical with most of your bourbon whiskeys. Um, pretty cool, and it's only a three year plus uh, whiskey. So this is so this is three years old, and it it never went into American oak. This is all French oak. All French, French oak. oak. Yeah. Three thousand bottles of it made. This is batch number one. Um, pretty rare commodity, and yeah, pretty cool. Um, we Jake actually picks the pick this whiskey up. And uh, I came over to, to give him some videos or for, for the week uh, to upload on our channel. And uh, he showed it to me, and he had no idea what he had. I, I, I paid $90 for a gamble because I thought the bottle was cool. Yeah, <laughs> he had no idea what he even had. And I said, where did you get that? And uh, 
I went and got another bottle of it right yeah. there shortly afterwards. But kind of a rare find. And uh, to the winners of whatever j- kind of bottle finding thing or whatever Jason has going on tonight, uh, <laughs> yeah, which was hard. It was very hard bottle selection last week. Very, very hard. You got to make uh, it challenging, man. I can't just give away stuff. Come on. <laughs> I, I got you. Right. Uh, we're going to give away – we're going to give away samples of this this, this afternoon. So, uh, the viewers tonight will get actually get a chance to uh, sample the St. Clouds. It is, it's pretty rare whiskey. I mean, 3,000 bottles. That's – Pappy Van Winkle's making more than that. And this is a – it really is pristine whiskey. Um, Jason, you got your sample poured out? Yeah, I'm ready to go into this because French oak is probably one of my uh, – the more stuff that I try in French oak, the more – the more I'm loving it, so I can't wait to get into this one. Um, oh, it's amazing, man. It really uh, is. Bal- Balcone, Balcone is in Texas, makes a French oak uh, bourbon that they make. And I had this, I did this whole Balcones flight, and the French oak was easily my favorite out of the bunch. It was absolutely delicious. So I can't wait to try this one. Oh, man, that's incredible. That has an incredible nose. I'll tell you that oh. one. Yeah. It really, it really is. It almost, uh, it almost seems finished, but it, it's not. It's, it's got such a, a different nose profile than you would get from most of your, your bourbon whiskeys. It seems a. Uh, this, this smells like it was finished in some kind of port or wine barrel because it's so, exactly. it's so fruity on the nose. Yeah, very fruity, fruity, um, deep. Look. Butterscotch. It's got a deep butterscotch and deep like a like a, a deep cherry note to it. Some plums. A lot of cherry, a lot of spice, a lot of uh, definitely like a merit, like a like a Luxardo cherry. Very deep, very rich. Yeah, yes. very rich, very rich. Hey, and- bourbon, bourbon junk is in the house. What's up, fellas? How you doing, man? What's up, guys? Man, that's um. The nose on it's amazing. This is this is this is a an extremely well rounded nose. I mean, you're getting all the beautiful caramel vanilla sweetness, but you're getting these deep, rich, dark fruit flavors. Um, it's almost like it's almost like deep, dark, rich uh, fruits that have been like cooked down, and and then like you sprinkle some powdered sugar on top of it. It's amazing. It seems like it's hard to almost get away from the fact that it's not finished in anything. Because it does seem like it has a wine finish to it. Right. It really does. Like, like you said, a port. A port wine finish. I, I think the more I know it, though, that, that portness kind of disappears. Yeah, it does, it does disappear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely getting more of the um, more of the just the typical bourbon notes are coming in. But you're still getting um, a rich, fruity characteristic in here. And... Um, that French oak, that spicy French oak characteristic is really coming through. If you really kind of stick your nose down deep, that's nice. Yeah. A little bit of pepperish notes on the whiskey. Um, and this is a three-year whiskey. <clears throat> you would not think that. Was this, nose- was this aged in Kentucky? Where was this aged? Yes. Uh, yes, it was aged in Kentucky. They yeah. say it's a Kentucky straight bourbon. So Okay. It, well, sure. the label is kind of weird, man. I mean, it says – Kentucky bourbon, and, and it also it says straight bourbon yeah, on it. On the uh, stamp on the bottle of the St. Cloud logo, it just says Kentucky bourbon. And then if you look at the label on the side of the bottle, in the very small print, it says Kentucky bourbon redefined, and it says St. Cloud is a Kentucky straight bourbon. Right. Which we know that two years plus, you can be a straight bourbon. If it's under four, if it's under four years, it has to be labeled on the bottle, which it's got 2016 slapped across the front of it. So that's all there. It was just, it's just kind of deceiving how they labeled it two different ways, but yeah, that's nice. I, I the no, all right, let's go in for a sip, guys. The nose is fantastic. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. Man. Come on, man. Holy crap, that's delicious. <laughs> it is it is it's very good. Very, very nice, man. The wow. mouth on it. That is t- like I that that is one of, that is one of the creamiest bourbons I've ever tasted. Right? Yes. Yeah. It oh, is yes. 
a three-year whiskey with that kind of flavor profile. It's got deep, dark, rich flavors. It's and there, it's it's deep fruits. And and to say it's not finished, you would think this if you were to do this in a blind, right out the gate, you would be thinking finished whiskey. I would anyway. This is uh, this is like now on the palate. This is like coffee and chocolate and mm -hmm. berries and holy crap. It's got a lot going on, man. Yeah, Very nice spice on the finish. Yeah. And the barrel notes with the French oak are definitely a little more subtle than you would have from the new American oak. But the plate the, the, the favor the flavor profile seems more deep and rich and dense from the, the, the French oak barrels. It's 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 an amazing whiskey, you know. I feel like, uh, I feel like I'm sipping on spiced espresso. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's a good way if, to put it. Damn if you're bro. a latte drinker, you probably wouldn't like this whiskey. Um, Lattes. Yeah. It is espresso of whiskeys. It's very good. Oh, latte. It's, it's very, very nice whiskey. Yeah, this, this is not a latte. This is a um this is a like my Italian grandmother's house making espresso on the stove, and it's like black tar. That's what it tastes like. Yes. Right. So yeah. what uh, so Rebecca asked, what's the uh, what's the? This is just. Is this a Kentucky only release? Well, yeah, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know on that, that one, Rebecca. Hey. Rebecca, we don't know. I, we do know this. It's very limited release. Three thousand bottles of it were were released. This is batch number one. Uh, There's uh, a little bit of hype behind this whiskey. Uh, 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 this this. Uh, I guess it was. I don't even really know what it was. Tater talk is what they're called. They contacted us a couple days ago, and they also contacted the Whiskey Wash and um, Breaking Bourbon. And they were talking a little bit about the, the distiller, Ray Walker, and it, it, it's very much a hyped-up whiskey um, and very limited release. I, I honestly don't know much about it. Their website is talks more about the bottle than it does anything else. Um, it's, I don't know. I, I, all I'm saying is I hope Ray Walker puts out some more whiskey like this, and I would be very interested to see what some older whiskeys he's producing. Um, we don't even know if it's so. I, 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 I hate to say if it's sourced or not. I, I don't think it was. I, I honestly don't know. I don't think it was. Um, hey, I want to say hi to uh, Bourbon Apprentice came back and the Whiskey Dick. Bill is here. How you doing, Whiskey Dick? Thanks for coming in, Bill. Mm. So we are drinking St. Cloud. And this Pretty is, good whiskey, man. I this mean, is, this, I is, this is a damn good bourbon. I need to find a bottle of this. Yeah, yeah, man. It, it is pretty good. Uh, we were lucky enough to find it, or he was, and, and didn't even know what he bought, man. I mean, he bought a hundred dollar whiskey and which, didn't even know what he bought. And, right. Which most things I know if it's coming out, I pretty I know about it. But yeah, this one was just a yeah. Mystery. I didn't know anything about it. Either. Yeah. Frank comes over, he's like, "You got the same class?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I thought that was, was the same class. Yeah, yeah. I went <laughs> directly back and got another bottle of it. But uh, Jason, if you want some more of this stuff right here, man, we'll see what we can do to help you out on that one for real, buddy. Oh my god, that thing is um, that is one of the more unique bourbons I've had um, in a long time. It's 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 really good. It's it's really outstanding. It's it's really spicy. Um, yeah. It's, I mean, it is spicy from front to back. I'm sure the high proof has a lot to do with that, but you get you get that French oak, that sweet spice to it, and then it just finishes so dark and rich, and it's so creamy. Man, that is um, that is a lovely, lovely bourbon. <laughs> what can it's, I say? It, well, it, it's such a and it's, it was it, there was so much. I read up on it a little bit before it was re released. That's the only reason I knew uh, anything about about it at all right. and uh there's a little bit of hype behind it and you you know how that goes jason that you're almost ready to be let down when there's so much hype behind something yeah but man, we tasted this and i immediately went and got another bottle and uh it's pretty darn good and we're glad to be able to give it away to the people who win uh win some stuff on your show tonight man they're gonna get a sample of this all right, so, so why don't so why don't we do that, guys? So let's uh, let's set up a giveaway tonight. We'll um, 
I just want to say hi to uh, Swami Walton in Montreal. He said, who's the new channel? Uh, Swami, this is the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Uh, go check them out. They're doing some uh, really cool, uh, really great reviews. So, um, all right, guys, I'm going to leave this one up to you. Why don't you ask a question for the chat room? Um, it could be, I don't know. I don't know. Do you guys, you guys you have, a, have a question you think you'd want to ask them to uh, give away? Because it's your sample. So maybe you guys want to ask something. Maybe something about Horse Soldier. Uh, maybe some of the what we talked about. What do you think? Oh, yeah. man. Yeah, uh, put us on the spot a little bit here, Jason. Uh, All right, well, I'll I'll uh I'll throw a question then because I think I have one that we can do. Um, all right. So when we were, so when we were talking about the story earlier, um, of these guys, how many horses did they go into Afghanistan with, um, initially, on horseback, the horse soldiers? First one to answer right. Uh, on my chat window, gets the sample from the guys. Rebecca Page. Rebecca Page, Rebecca Page got it. She's got six. Yep. Yeah. It is six it. horses. Yeah. Uh, congratulations, Rebecca. I'll reach out to you, Rebecca, and I'll get your contact info, and then uh, we'll have you guys send her a uh, sample. Yeah. So awesome. Just just send, us, just send us the info, and yeah. we'll, we'll make sure she gets it. Yeah, uh, yeah. Congrats, uh, congrats, Rebecca. I think she's the. I think it's the first time she's won. So, congrats, Rebecca. Awesome job. Awesome, Rebecca. You got a stellar whiskey coming your way for sure. Stellar first win. Yeah, yes. yes. you won good. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it may be your first win, but it was a good one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a solid win because this is really really good. Hey, Donner Pass whiskey just jumped in. How you doing, man? Thanks for coming in, Donner. Uh, Donner Pass was the. Um, if you guys watched my uh, my double base episode today, where I put Weller Antique versus Makers of Mark Cast Strength, uh, Donner Pass Whiskey was the guy who um, kind of suggested that one. So that was a really cool suggestion. Thanks again, man. Yeah, that's cool. Um, okay. So now for um, so this is now going to be for a sample of uh, of my blend. But before we give it away, why don't you guys pour a little bit of the blend I sent you? Because I'm curious to get your take. On how this how this is now before I send it to you, this was it was kind of mingling for almost a week. So it's a big blend, man. So get into the blend. Let's pour a little bit and uh, let's see what you think. And then we're gonna give away a sample of the blend. All right, all right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. We have Matthew McConaughey is, uh, is on my channel. Awesome. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Cool. Swami, you're coming through with a one dollar Canadian super chat. Thank you so much, Swami. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, man. Yes, as Whiskey Dick says, money is nice. Yeah, money is nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'm pouring straight from the uh, from my big ass decanter here. Oh, all right. Yeah, man. I'm a little light. All right. So I, I um. I actually went back and wrote down what's in this whiskey, the whole blend. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna put this in the, um, in the description of the video, the the recipe for this one. If anyone has all this crap, so. <laughs> that is nice nose on that whiskey. Very nice. Uh, it had Waffens, Weller, Mickers barrel strength. I think I remember. Uh, I don't, I don't think Waffens went into it. Um, it had knob, it had a knob creek in it. It had four gate in it. It had um, uh, it had bell meat, cognac in it. It had a bunch of good stuff. So, Michter's barrel strength. Yeah, Michter's barrel strength. Uh, hey, whiskey dick came in. He said he's got a one up Swami with a two dollars super chat. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> whiskey dick, one of the uh, one of the stalwart channels on the whiskey tube. Thanks a lot, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Jason, that's juicy fruit on the nose, bud. Isn't it? It's totally fruity. Oh, man, that's juicy fruit. It is. <laughs> it's, 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 I, I'm, I'm surprised because uh, the proof the proof on this is actually pretty high. It's over 100 and I think collectively it's it's in that between that 100 and 120 mark. And it doesn't, man, it doesn't so sound like that. You were doing hefty pours of beach whiskey too, though, buddy. I think I bread also. Yeah, there's a baked I'm bread, a little bit of yeasty note yeah. on there, some baking spices. 
nose is stellar to say the least. Man. Yeah, the nose on this is ridiculous. There's like it's it's vanilla, it's juicy fruit, it's caramel, it's brown sugars. There's a lot going on here. Oof. What do you guys think of the nose on that one? That's nice. Yeah, I dig it. Yeah. That's, Jason that's, bringing that's, the damage with the nose on this one, but it's not nice. I can't I can't take credit for this blend. This was all this was the viewers that that chimed in and made this blend. So I just kind of went with what they wanted, but it's it's turned out really nice. Everyone yeah, done really well. Yeah. They yeah. done well. They killed it. They, they killed it. They did. I remember uh, <laughs> last, I remember last yeah, week uh, the, the peak was getting ready to go in this. And everyone was like, "No!" Yeah. <laughs> everyone got everyone all of a sudden got very protective of the blend. They're like, "No! Don't you dare put any peat in that blend." Yeah, yeah. And I think that was a good call because this is an excellent, excellent blend on the nose. All right. Wow! Guys, I haven't now. I haven't tasted this um, in a week. So let's go and let's go in and see what it tastes like. It should be pretty cool. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Mm. Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah. <laughs> that is nice. That was yeah. so smooth. Oh, it was. Yeah. That that does not suck at all. <laughs> <laughs> wow! How much do we got on that left? That is <laughs> yeah, good. Yeah. That's yeah that's oh man. The whiskey dick says, "Forget the whiskey dick guy. I need to one up him." So <laughs> Bill comes in with a five dollars super chat. <laughs> And then Sean from Bourbon Junkies comes in with a two dollar and one cent super chat. <laughs> Bill, but Bill had beat him to the punch with a five dollar super chat. So Sean, you're still behind, buddy. <laughs> Thanks so much. I mean, right. the, the so mouth. What do you guys get on the palate? What do you guys get on the palate on this one? Oh, it's 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 um, it's very sweet. The mouth it was creamy. It's it's. The mouthfeel is so nice, man. Yeah. It, it, uh, I don't even want to I'll even, yeah, he's all even want to finish it. It's that good. Well, I'm going for another sip real quick. Yeah, this, this has such a sweet, fruity flavor to it. Um, really? How many of the bourbons that went in this were finished? What's that? How many of the bourbons that went in this were finished? Off the top of my head, I think three finished bourbons went in here. Okay. okay. Yeah, there's – you can – you can you can, you get that influence for sure. Yeah, you you get it a little bit, but the I'm getting a bit of a, a, a rummish note on the whiskey, but a molasses, a, mol a deep molasses, a very deep molasses, some dark fruits, um, vanilla's caramels. It is a very very interesting blend. It's something you could dig into and spend some time with. Yeah, um, the, the, you'll the, coat your mouth elegantly. To say the least. If I could try to describe this blend, I would – this reminds me if you took a Four Roses OBSK, OB, OBSV type blend and finished it yeah. in like rum and sherry or something. Yes, yeah. you're exactly right on yes. that. I, mean, I, we to, I, I totally agree, and I'm sure these guys I mean, too. This is, this is worth making again. Yeah. 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 It is worth making any absolute. Oh, DJ Beacon comes in. He says a lucky seven to build on Bill and Swami. DJ Beacon's in the lead with a seven dollars super chat. <laughs> nice, thanks, DJ. Appreciate it, man. Uh, DJ or Bill, Sean, if you have a Scotch idea that you want to throw into this uh, bottle I'm working on, um, you know, you could come in for it. So let me know. Um, all right. So yeah, this. So guys, all in all, the blend is coming out really spectacular. Everybody in the chat, everyone who had their hands in it. Did a really, really great, great job. So, they did a great job. Uh, this is excellent. I mean, yeah, I want to, I want to make this again. I'm gonna make yeah, this. I'm gonna make this by the gallon, uh, and I'm gonna sell it on the street. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> 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 it would go quick, my guy. It would yeah, go oh, quick. Yeah, it's good. The nose. When you go back to the nose afterwards, it, it, it doesn't lighten up at all. It, the nose is just jumping out at you, juicy fruit. It's like it's got it, it's got so many different things going on with the finished whiskeys that are in this. Excellent blend, guys. It, it's Jason, send us some more of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's very nice, very nice whiskey. 
Uh, okay, uh, Cap and Make It Happen said elegantly is the first time that's ever been said about something on the Mass and Drum. That's very true, John. <laughs> it just happened. It just happened. It just happened. It was, it was, it was an organic moment. You got to love it. <laughs> said, can't wait for the recipe. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna put it in the description of this video probably by tomorrow and get it up there. So if you guys have all these whiskeys, you could try to make it yourself. It's really good. Um, DJ Beacon said, scotch for the bottle. How about a Glendronic 12 for a bit of sherry? That I can do, buddy. I have some Glendronic 12 right here. So we're going to add some Glendronic to the bottle here. Glendronic's nice. Glendronic 12... Um, that's actually going to be one of my one of my other um, double base videos, probably the next couple weeks. I'm going to do Glendronic 12 versus McAllen 12. Um, Solid man, yeah. I, it, it, it it really is, man. The, the Glendronic, I don't know, man. McAllen's got such a great marketing thing going on, and everybody's like, it, it, I don't know, great. It, it'd be cool. It'd be a good verse head to head, man. It, it'd be an awesome. One. All right, guys. So we have a we have a raise your glass moment right here. Um, Cooper fifty seven says he's drinking Highland Park twelve, toasting my dad who passed away this morning at the young age of ninety two. So everybody in the chat, everybody watching, raise your glass to Cooper. Um, so sorry for your loss, but um, age ninety two. I mean, he was he was around a long time, and it sounds like you were pretty close to them. So sorry to hear about that, man. And uh, everybody, raise your glass to Coop and his dad. And um, Here's to here's to great memories. Cheers. Yep. Cheers. 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 Sorry for your loss, Cooper. Cheers. Um, Whiskey Dick says, "Hmm, how about some Johnny Walker Red?" I don't own that, Bill. Sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's Jeff Creed stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so now we're gonna give away uh, we're gonna give away a sample of this now of uh, the Paradiddle Blend. Um. I don't even want to wash the glass out. No, it's that. good. No, that was good. It's very good. Whiskey, whiskey, he says he'll send me a bottle. Uh, that's okay, man. I, I've heard enough about the, the red label to um <laughs> I have a good idea of how how great that is. Can you sense the sarcasm? Okay. Uh let's see. He said a nice 1.75 liter. I'm sure you have a lot of them. Uh okay. So so this will be for the for a sample. One of you in the chat will get a sample of uh, of this blend here uh, that I called Paradiddle. Um, so when we opened the St. Cloud bourbon before we tasted it, and we loved it so much, um, the guys at Oak and Smoke Whiskey Review said how many bottles were only available. First one to answer how many bottles were available gets the sample. Dum dum dum. Page. Rebecca Page is killing it. Rebecca Page nailed it again. Yeah, another one? Oh my god! <laughs> Deuces. Yeah. All right. So this is what, this is what I'm gonna do because Rebecca already won. I'll I'll send her a sample of it, but I'm also gonna get the second guy who didn't win anything yet. I'm gonna get John Picard, Cap, and make it happen. I'm gonna send him one too. Cool. Awesome. Rebecca and Cap, and you guys will both get a sample of the Paradiddle Blend. Hey, we'll send him some St. Cloud also. Just send us the info. We'll send him some St. Cloud also. Oh, man. Mighty fine of you guys. There you go. So, Captain yeah. and Rebecca, you guys are going to get one of each. Congrats, guys. Awesome. Does anybody know if Jim Beam is still on fire? Yeah. What yeah, happened with Jim Beam today? I only hope the Basil Hayden is still on fire. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that was, that was an interesting story. And I'm sure a lot of you guys in the in the know of you know the whiskey uh, the whiskey newswire found out that they still believe that somehow the one of the oh excuse me man that St. Cloud is uh, repeating on me <laughs> that um, <laughs> that the one of the warehouses got hit by lightning uh, that's what they think caused the or started the fire um, I think it hit about two warehouses something about forty five thousand barrels um, yeah. and I think from what I understand, so a couple of people I've talked to, and even D uh, DHL Silv in the DH Silv and DH Silv two in the chat. Apparently, it was pretty young whiskey, and it won't really make a dent in anything that they're doing. So, I think I, three million barrels. Eh? So, yeah, yeah, I think I think Jim Beam will be just fine. So nobody worry. <laughs> They'll pump that out in a day. Yeah. <laughs> 
What, what do you think about the, uh, the the new Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond release, Jason? Uh, we talked about that actually yesterday on another round, and I I spoke a little bit about it in my last live stream. Uh, you know, it's the bourbon business, and I get it. You know, and I understand doing it one year older. You want to bring it to forty bucks. You, you right. the way the way that things are now, I get it. It's it's a business. Yeah. You want to make money. I totally understand that. The one thing though that pisses me off about it that I think is kind of really messed up is the fact that they're alienating the core uh, Kentucky, um, the, the whole state of Kentucky isn't yeah. getting that on first release. Yeah, right? man, it's weird. It's kind of like Ford making a new truck and just releasing it in Canada. It's kind of yeah. weird, man. Yeah, I, I, it's I, brand but, Super Duty, but uh, you can't buy it. Yeah, yeah it's, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of weird. Is one year really worth that price inflation? Well, uh, I, I get why they're doing it. Is it. one it's, year it's, really it's, worth that price inflation? It's, it's definitely it's, about... You know, and Jake, you bring up a good point. It, it's not, but in today's bourbon market and the whiskey market, it is. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. And the, the allocations, the... Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah, it's. I mean, they're, they're just trying to get the whiskey in that market, and I'm sure like, it's amazing. Hey, this extra money. Look, it, I, I have no doubt because I think Heaven Hill. You know, I'm a fan of kind of their, you know, their between like eight to twelve year old stuff. Um, I think that's where their sweet spot is. Just me personally, um, but, so I, I think it's going to be a, a delicious bourbon. I have no doubt. But the, the thing, and you know, what's funny is I don't even live in Kentucky. I mean, I'm close to Kentucky, but I don't live there. But I think it's kind of messed up that that cult, that cult following you had for the Heaven Hill bottled and bond that was only available in Kentucky that built that that built the entire lore and the entire um, the fan base around it and had people going to Kentucky to buy cases of this stuff. Now you're going to come out with a new one. You're basically going to up the price 250 percent, and then you're going to basically not let Kentucky have it when you release it. The new one, it just, if anything, if I was Heaven Hill, I would have let Kentucky have it first as a yeah, thing. That right. Sense. That's your roots. That man. would make sense. Yeah. That is your roots. It, it, it's, it doesn't really make much sense. I get where the marketers are going with it. They're allocating it. I understand the whole gig, but damn, man. You know what I mean? It's just kind of weird. But yeah, it's, it's, you know, they. I think they had a chance to kind of play the hero a little bit there. Um, and it, it didn't just to kind of offer, you know, it, listen, you, you could branch it out to other states on the first release, but at least include Kentucky, the one that the state that made that bourbon, what it is that made that, that namesake. And I mean, right. this, right. this is the business of bourbon now. And unfortunately it's going to work. Right. It, it right. will, it will work. That's, it, that's the damn thing about Yeah. He, and they know that. Yeah. Yeah. They know yeah. That. He said, unfortunately it will work. Yeah, I okay. totally get it, man. Totally get it. Um, uh, we were talking earlier, Jason, about the uh, 1792, the new release they got coming out. Pretty cool. Oh, the 12 year. Yeah, I'm actually kind of excited about that. I've, um, you know, I like, you know, I haven't always been a big fan of 1792. Uh, I I can say I really like the pick that I did, but that's only because it was mine, probably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it like, did. It, 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 it was off flavor profile, but I am excited for a 12 year. Bourbon and and apparently it's only going to be about fifty to fifty five bucks retail. So I, I mean, that that's bad. one thing yeah. I have to say about seventeen ninety two. Yeah, on point with their prices on their whiskeys. They really are even like your hard to find ones, like your sweet wheat stuff like that. I, I mean, the second the sweet wheat retails. Well, yeah, I don't know. I'd love to have the sweet wheat, but the bottled and bond that we've had is delicious. Really? Yeah, I, I really enjoy that whiskey. Yeah. It, Along with the single barrel and the full proof. Yes, he kept and make it happen. He had, uh, he was fortunate enough. He won a bottle. He's a lucky guy. He won a bottle of my pick uh, that I gave away, and he said that pick was flipping delicious. It was very good. And the the one thing I do like about seventeen ninety two is everything is reasonable. I mean, you can even get the full proof picks for a really good price. Yeah, uh, bottled and bond the just a regular small batch, and some of the special release, the sweet wheat is uh, actually probably one of the better ones I've had from seventeen ninety two. Um, the short finish I've never had, but I've heard good things about that one. Uh, but, but yeah, I mean, uh, the, 
I think for a 12 year bourbon, man, pricing it right. I mean, I know they do chill filter it, so you're going to lose a little bit there. I'm not sure what the proof point's going to be, but you're still getting a 12 year old bourbon for 50 bucks in a market where 12 year old bourbons that are sourced and their new distilleries hit the market for about 150. So, yeah. right. You can't really it, complain about it too much. Right? No, no. And, and bourbon and whiskey in general is such a huge thing right now that uh, marketers are going for every single angle they can get at you with. And, and, and Heaven Hill, we know, really doesn't have much of a say in what they're doing. I, I, I know as far as price points goes, um, as far as where it's allocated to, I don't know on that. I, I honestly don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where it's coming in. Um, at least where I live, Ohio, you know, it's a controlled state, so things are very weird. Some some new stuff gets here quickly, and some stuff gets, takes a while. Um, so I'm not really sure where that is going to be. If that's going to hit uh, Ohio anytime soon, or I'll probably have to go somewhere else to get it if I can get it. But um, yeah, I, I'm excited for that one. So between that one, uh, the the one I'm still waiting for is the Wild Turkey Cornerstone. Um, that the new rye and the master in the Masters Keep collection. I am coveting that bottle. I, I have to have it. <laughs> I just I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I know some of it was kind of released around Father's Day, but apparently it's another couple weeks out till it's out. So I I I'm a I'm a Wild Turkey fanboy. So I have to try to find that damn bottle. Um, yeah. The Wild Turkey 101 is uh, released today in the uh, distiller shops. Wait, Wild Turkey? What? What? Wild 101? Turkey One Hundred or is it Wild Turkey? Uh, yeah. It's not Wild Turkey. Yeah. It's not Wild Turkey. It's Maker's Mark One Hundred One. Yeah, like is Mark. releasing it. Shops. Oh, today. you know, you know what? I got to say something about that because Maker's Mark's got some balls, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> Maker Maker's Mark releases Maker's Mark One Hundred One. So, and if you even look at the packaging, it kind of mimics a little bit of the Wild Turkey. But they will sue anyone that uses a wax top. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man, yes, I they mean, will. It, it was just kind of <laughs> weird, man. I mean, man. It is what it is, you know. They're they're suing we'll, the balls off somebody. But oh, some we'll dripping see, wax. I'll see if we'll see if Wild Turkey tries to sue me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> see how that plays out. That'll be interesting. I think Wild yeah. Turkey puts. Good quality product, though. I really, I really honestly do. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, Dram, Dram Man said uh, they've done that before at 101, and I do remember seeing some older bottles. I just, I just thought that was kind of funny. They do the 101 proof, and uh, every time I see, you know, I read that book, Bourbon Justice, and one whole chapter is pretty much dedicated to the fight that Maker's Mark went through for that dripped wax uh, patent uh, against the tequila company that was doing it, and they, they happened to win it. So it was really interesting. Yeah, there was a huge story behind Maker's Mark. It was a big family deal. There was they were definitely his wife had a huge part in in in, in the wax deal and on the, the whiskey. The bottle yeah, the bottle itself. Uh, um, a lot of good. There, there's a, that's the thing about that's really cool about bourbon whiskey, especially. It's so there's. There's so much well deep ingrained heritage in it that it's you know I'm I'm curious as how different that 101 is gonna be from I, I mean I just did a video yesterday of the Maker's Mark cast strength. And that yeah. that thing comes in it they that thing varies between like fifty-three and fifty-eight ABV depending on what it is, depending how it ages. I mean it's a cast strength, so um is it gonna be that much different? Is it gonna be the a little bit weaker? I'm I'm curious. Um, they tend to age their stuff around six years. So is it a little bit older? Um, anybody, have they released a price for that one-on-one? Do you guys know what the price is? Yeah, that I, I have not heard a price. Yeah. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, Rebecca Page is asking, is $56 a good price for New Riff Single Barrel? Yeah, absolutely. That's a good price. <gasps> New Riff's putting out some good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've been I've been saying it the last few weeks, and even on some of my reviews, that New Riff, Wilderness Trail, Peerless, and I could add Bardstown Bourbon Company to that list too. Is some of the new distilleries making really good stuff. Jason Fusion video, awesome. 
we had that bottle for like a couple yeah, we, weeks, man. We had it, planned on doing it, and I was like, and I saw you did it. Yeah, it's, like, it's like he's reading my mind. So like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but no, man, Barstown, they're doing some great shit, man. I mean, they are, they, the whiskey they're putting down is good stuff. It really, yeah, really is. Not, you know, their stuff is aging. It's young, but they're blending it. You know, they're doing a lot of there. It's that's one of those. That's one. Of, it's another one of those new distillers. That's a very family atmosphere type place to be in. Everybody yeah. is involved. I mean, they had the chefs, the waiters, the bartenders. Everybody was picking out different samples for the blends before they bottled uh, their whiskey. So I, I kind of like that idea. I think it's kind of cool. I mean, whether whether you don't want to pay fifty bucks for a, you know, there there is two two-year-old whiskeys in there, a little over two years old, but there's also an 11-year, seven-month-old uh, bourbon in there, too, uh, that it's obviously sourced. I have a feeling it's Barton, which I think it is, because it's a high rye uh, mash bill. Um, yeah. I can tell you that the Discovery Series has wild turkey in it, but the, uh, the Fusion, not sure which one that is. I, that one wasn't labeled when I did the tasting. Um, but the Fusion is a weird... It's We've tasted this whiskey, and oh Man, we really enjoy the fusion. It's definitely not your typical bourbon. I mean, it's really it's, not. And it's, whiskey is it's it's it was a nice difference. Yeah, it's it's very nice, man. We really enjoy the fusion. Um, yeah, it's it's weird. You, like when you taste it, you could taste all three different blends in there, all three different whiskeys. I feel yeah. like I feel like the front is the weeded bourbon. It's very sweet and fruity. Then when it hits mid palate, you get rye spice from the rye bourbon, and then on the finish, you get that eleven year old almond nutty leathery type finish to it. It's it's a really unique bourbon. I love it. Oh, we, we, it, it's great, man. It really, really is a great whiskey. Um, we actually just poured the seventeen ninety two bald and bond store pick of yours, man. Oh, you're gonna try the store pick? Okay. Oh, now I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> It smells good. Nice. That smells nice. It's it's, it's odie. So, 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 so the reason why we picked so the reason why we picked that one is because it had an old school dusty corn butterscotch type yeah. to it. You're, yeah, it, it's it's got a it's got nice grain though. It is a nice grain though. It's not over the grain. No, not which is very nice. Um, How cool would it be? The barrel it smells really nice. Um, I know somebody asked before any word on the uh, the Weller full proof. Um, yeah, what's uh, last I heard September, it got delayed till September, really. Yeah, yeah. So I had heard uh, it was supposed to come out this month. I'm sorry, actually, it's supposed to come out last month in June. I heard it yeah. got delayed to this month, and yes, um. Uh, Ryan, I could say that I, that's the last thing I heard that it was delayed till September. So I'm not really sure. Apparently, they're doing a bunch of barrel picks of the stuff too. So, uh, right, yeah, I've heard that that also. yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be seeing you're gonna be seeing some. So, yeah, and astronomical prices probably on it. I know. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure if you're not gonna see it at retail, I have a feeling Ohio is gonna put it on lottery at the end of the year. So, it, 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 the Willer is so allocated in a weird way, man. I mean, it is. It is. I mean, <laughs> everyone. Uh, you know, I know a lot of people that watch my channel. They can't, they can't stand the fact that I could get antique 107 so easily. Um, but you know, in Michigan, which is one state above me, um, you know, you know, Dan and Sean from Bourbon Junkies, when they came over and saw the Weller 107 I had, they said they haven't seen two of those bottles in years. Let alone, I mean, I have about, I have like a pallet full in my garage. So, wow, like what well, we found, like. A bottle a year. Yeah, and we're yeah, living like yeah. twenty minutes from Louisville, Kentucky, and you can't find it. And you just can't find it. The twelve yeah, years. This. You can find it in secondary stores. Yeah, or ridiculous. Stores. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nick, 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 Nixon Gotsa says yes. You suck. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it, it's 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 it, Buffalo Trace is pumping out huge volume of whiskey. They really, really are. Yeah, but there's still expansion to with some of that. Hopefully. Hopefully, right. but hopefully it, it's not just a <laughs> Right. When it comes to marketing, I mean, they're, they're making the, mar the, the allocation is working for them. 
I mean, it really is. I mean, when it comes down to brass tacks, they're going to go with that. And I, mean, is it oh, I get it. Is it allocated because it has to be, though? Probably. You know, like, that. you know, if it's allocated because it has to be, then that's fine. Mm-hmm. But if they alloc- if somebody allocates something just to allocate it, then, I, you know, I'm calling bullshit on that. Well, that well, makes yeah, me not that's a, well, a Heaven Hill, the new Heaven Hill bond and bond, allocated. Yeah, just right, to now, allocate. right now I'm done with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so, yeah. All right, guys, so take a sip of the, uh, take a sip of the 1792. Tell me what you think. I don't, I don't have any down here. All my bottles are upstairs. <laughs> that's pretty good. I, I do enjoy that. Honey, cereal, caramel, vanillas. Nice long finish. A little bit of peppery note on the end. Yeah, the, the, the kind of the butterscotchy finish is what kind of sold us on it, and uh, it is it is it's definitely a little bit off profile. So, so it's almost it's a, it's like peppery butterscotch on the end. That's yeah, really nice. It's not yeah, too that, much. The the finish is. It's kind of weird. The finish is kind of long on that whiskey. It is long. It's, it's, it's got a long finish. Um, the mouthfeel on it's nice, and that's why screaming. The mouthfeel on a whiskey. Okay, we just I don't know what this store pick was. What was it? Was it a, well, a statement. Uh, seven years. Seven years. Okay, we just did the Saint Cloud at three years. A mouthfeel on a whiskey. Changes up everything. It really, really does, and how the flavors unfold on the whiskey. Well, Barton, well, Barton, you're you're going to lose some of that because they they chill filter their whiskeys, so right. yeah, you're going to lose some of that mouthfeel, unfortunately. Right, but this is very nice, yeah. very nice, very nice pick, Jason. It is. I mean, it seems very Kudos, good. But but just regular bottle. Yeah, uh, Captain Captain Make It Happen, who got a bottle. He said uh, that blood orange, though, and there is there is a citrus aspect to it uh, that I do love on that whiskey too. So I have a little bit of that, I got a little bit of citrus citrus aspect. Jason, hey man, thank you so much, man. No, uh, I want to actually. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up a little, and we're, uh, we're gonna I think we're gonna wrap up here because Cast Ranked is live. I don't want to go over too much on their live stream. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for coming on. I want to thank everyone in the chat for hanging out with us um, tonight. And uh, what can I say? The Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Three cool dudes. Go check them out. If you haven't yet, go check out their channel. Subscribe. Give them some subs, guys. Check out what they're doing. Um, uh, and before we sign off, let them know. I want you guys kind of give your names again and let them know where to find you. I'm Ron. I'm Britt. And I'm Jake. And, man, you can find us at the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. Oh. We got a YouTube channel, YouTube and Instagram. Yeah, yeah. I think we have a Twitter. Yeah, we got Twitter, and we've got some jacked up Facebook thing right now <laughs> that's just under my name. It's just working that out. Working right, that. Yeah. Out. So Instagram, uh, uh, Twitter, and jacked up Facebook. That's where they can find you. Yeah, right, yeah, sure. yeah like, outside of YouTube. Outside of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very cool, man. Um, and you guys, thanks for uh, thanks for hanging out tonight. Uh, thanks again to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews for coming on. Uh, congrats to the winners, to uh, uh, Rebecca Page and Captain Make It Happen for winning the samples tonight. Uh, again, uh, thanks again. And as I always say, it is not about the whiskey. It's the people you share it with. So I will see you guys uh, next week. And uh, have a good, uh, have a great, safe, happy 4th of July. Um, cheers to that. And uh, take care, guys. We'll see you, uh, see you next time. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers, cheers. everybody. Cheers.